Well, hello everyone. Thank you for being here. Today we've got another extract from the Comprehensive Bank Training Course, the Complete Alco Blueprint. My name's Howard Lothrop. I'm with Echo Partners. I'm here today to speak with you about internal control and validation. You know, in an earlier lesson, we talked about this uh, in, in a very uh, micro sense with respect to assumption reasonableness, assumption change at log, and assumption documentation. Well, today we're going to step back a little bit and take a bigger picture view. You know, our, our validation requirements really stem from OCC 2000-16. And when you think about it in terms of uh, regulatory history, this is a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just a seminal uh, release from the OCC, which is still rings true today, even though it's been, been augmented and uh, regulators have, have uh, looked at it a little more stringently. All you need to know about validation pretty much is still in OCC 2000-16. What it talks about in, uh, in model validation is validating the inputs of your model, that is the transfer of, of the, the financial data and assumptions into the model itself. It talks about validating the processing of the model. Now validating the processing of the model is typically done uh, through a third party independent model validation opinion uh, and, and then uh, the model uh, you, has to be validated with respect to its outputs as well, with its re reporting and its results that are used by management and the board. So model validation covers that entire area. Backtesting, a key part of, of the entire process, backtesting compares the results of your interest rate risk model to the actual results received uh, by the bank and, and produced by the bank. Uh, and, and it Backtesting gives you a way of helping to assess the uh, degree to which your model accurately represents and models the interest rate risk sensitivity of the bank. And then the, uh, the board of directors is charged with the responsibility for ensuring that there is an annual review, we typically call it the independent annual review of the entire ALCO process, all the board approved uh, policies, strategies, and limits. If you have any concerns or questions about this, please go to the website, echopartners.com slash ask. I'll be glad to give you a personal response. Uh, this is uh, Lesson 13 in our 19-part series. To make sure you uh, get the entire series, sign up at echopartners.com slash lessons. This has been the Complete Alco Blueprint. Howard Lothrop speaking. Thank you and goodbye.